Gary, it's a 2 0 home defeat to Chesterfield today. Um, how would you summarise the game? <clears throat> First half, uh, I thought we played extremely well. I thought we gave a good account of ourselves. The goal on the stroke of half time obviously didn't help matter, uh, matters for us. But then second half, we didn't uh, didn't get anywhere near the level of performance that we were looking for. Oh, yeah, there's uh, another set piece as well, wasn't it, for the first goal? Um, I thought Chesterfield probably managed the game quite well after that, didn't they? Yeah, they did, in fairness. But, um, you know, the first goal is always crucial, especially when both teams are in the situation that they're in. Uh, but we didn't, well, were unable to then react second half. Um, and the performance second half was uh, disappointing. Uh, did you uh, ask for a response at half time? Did you sort of try to rally the players and. and Cheer him up for the second half, I'm guessing? Yeah, but the players know that themselves. You know, it was difficult to, it was a cruel bow really because we played really well first half for 40 minutes and then you're going in 1 0 down. So I suppose confidence is a little bit low and then uh, you perform well and then you're still walking off the pitch 1 0 down. So, uh, but hey, look, we have to get on with it. No point looking for excuses. Big challenges ahead and we've got to face them head on, as I said to you the other day. And overcome, it's as simple as that. That's what we have to do. What, what is the side lacking at the moment? Confidence, you can see that. I think when teams go up against us, we find it difficult then to respond and get back into the game. And we're on a, a very cruel run of uh, losses, if you like, and uh, we need to pick up a result sooner rather than later. And moving forward as well into the week, you've lost um, James, obviously, in the week. Uh, what's your reaction to that? It's obviously made your job a little bit more difficult. Will you be looking for a replacement? Uh, it's happened too, too quickly. You know, I've not had enough time really to, to go over it. The club have put a statement out um, and that was quite clear what they said. James has done a, a very, very good job in the period of time that he's been here. So uh, I have to have a look going forward what we need to do. And that, what was your reaction to it when, when obviously you were told you had to let your assistant go? Well, we had a, a, a close relationship. Uh, we've had some success here by getting into the playoffs and overachieving. And you know, James has been a, a very big part of that. But um, nothing's forever, uh, and we have to move on. And I wish him good luck. Uh, he's, a, he's a talented coach, and I wish him good luck going forward. And um, you know, me and James will stay in contact. But look, the club put out a statement, and uh, that's what it is. And uh, no, the person who has been touted as being your new assistant was uh, Carly Osborne. He, he wasn't included again today. Is he had another injury setback? Yeah, he's, he, at the moment he's not fully fit. Um, but this has come very, very quickly. So everybody will have you know rumour and speculation. But my focus was on today's game, and the outcome wasn't uh, a positive one that we were looking for. You've managed to to bolster the side with the signings of uh, Jerry and John. Both played today, and uh, how did you think uh, that they, they did on their first, what well, Jerry's first game back as a full-time player? Uh, I thought everybody played well first half, and I think we were all disappointed with the performance second half. So uh, I think that sums up the day. And then going forward this week, uh, is there any additions likely to be made? Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to do that, um, but I've been very busy in the last couple of weeks, so only time will tell if we can get them over the line. Okay, well, thank you for your time, Gary. Thank you. Cheers.